Good morning. Watch me. Just how gorgeous is this? I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't actually intending to go for a swim, but I got on the paddleboard for a chic pick and fell straight in. It's quite the fine dining buffet experience. Look at that backdrop. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my latest adventure. I'm in Gran Canaria. I'm here with the tourism board. Really excitingly so, because we're here for four days as a group of us, female travel bloggers, which is just so cool. We're all having such a fun time together. And we're basically hopping around the island like mad cakes to show you guys all the best things that you can see and do here. We're staying in the Paradisus, which is a brand new Melia hotel. It opened in March. It is so pretty. My room is insane. So this is the bathroom area. Obviously I arrived last night, so it's not super tidy right now. The shower is so cool because you can see right the way through to the sea when you're in the shower, which is epic. Then you've got a wardrobe area, very messy because I stayed here yesterday. They bought an iron up, so I've ironed all my clothes because I'm that gal. Huge big mirror as you saw there. And then look at this. You've got this massive bathtub with this huge mirror, which I love. Such beautiful aesthetics, massive bed, pillows are amazing, slept like a baby, love all of the textures, love the fabrics. This is the balcony area, you've got a huge TV here. This is another beautiful piece of furniture where you've got tea and coffee making facilities. Another view of that bathtub and you've got, honestly, ah, so pretty. And then this is the view from the balcony. It's hazy right now because it's early in the morning. I'm gonna go and grab some breakfast, but yeah. Super, 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 super beautiful room. Okay, ready for day one of exploring Gran Canaria. Watch me. Just follow every move. Touch me. Let me know you want it to. Okay, this place just keeps getting cuter and cuter. It reminds me of like a truly town in Italy, even though obviously aesthetically it doesn't look the same at all. Just the idea of just wandering around. You could easily spend hours here. So we've now come to Wayadeke, which is an archeological site. It's this huge ravine. It's really cool though, because they've got this cave restaurant, which we're gonna have lunch at later. But first of all, we're gonna walk down this perfectly created path to get some epic views. <laughs> How cool is it that people actually live in these houses? Can you imagine living here? So this is where you live and this is your view. And you can actually drive the car down here as well. Mad. There's actually more than one restaurant up here. How cute is this though? This isn't the one we're eating in. We're going into the cave, super unique. But how nice would this be if you were just grabbing an ice cream or a coffee? And also you can go further up and actually do a hike. Apparently you can drive all the way up and then hike down, that's easier. But how cool is this? What a view. But yeah, very happy that we're gonna be going inside the cave because it's super hot right now. Don't tell what you need. We just had a really good lunch. We had a lot of local dishes, cheeses, potatoes. I had a lovely vegetable display. Um, it was really cool eating in there actually in the little cave. Now we are gonna go on a boat trip. I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't actually intending to go for a swim, but I got on the paddleboard for a chic pick and fell straight in. But it ended up being a really nice swim. Look at the water now. It's been the weirdest weather today. So one minute it's like beautiful turquoise water and the next minute it goes cloudy. But that was really fun. And now the sun's come out, we're gonna have some drinks in the boat. Okay, I just went jet skiing as well. As you can see, they're like parked up back there. So the girls did try and get some videos of me, but I don't think you're actually gonna see me on the jet ski, but it happened and it was very fun. I even overtook the other people that were in there. But yeah, super fun. I've never actually done a jet ski by myself. I've gone on the back of someone else's and like switched over, but like I'm addicted. As you know, if you watch any of my um, snow vlogs, like when I was in 
Lapland, for instance, snowmobiling is my favourite thing ever. So it's really cool. It's kind of like being on a snowmobile, but on the ocean. Oh, and now we've got snacks on the boat. Yeah. Well earned. My son has decided to come out to escort us home. We'll take it. We will take it. Watch me. Just follow. Got ready for dinner at the speed of light. We got back from the boat trip, jumped in the shower, put some braids in, and now we have come to the buffet. Buffet is one of my favorite things when it comes to like dinners in hotels, especially like plush hotels like this. So let me show you around the buffet before I tuck into it. Okay, so I had to do a few runs, but I'm situated. It's quite the fine dining buffet experience. And then they bring wine and whatnot to the table. You look like you're having a girl dinner. <laughs> I know, I am having a girl dinner. Girl dinner, that's so true. And we have a magician at our table. Tell me. Yes. Woo! You want the touch? It's called. It's called. Yeah, let's do a magic trick. For okay. Example, what's your name? Dominica. Dominica. Yeah. Where are you from? From Pola. From Pola? Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. I was a driver from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I have the blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of you know the poker decks? No. The poker cards? No? No. This is the French deck, okay? Mm -hmm. The poker cards. For your two hands, which one do you use the most? Right. The right, okay. Put your, your hands high, okay? Like this. And with your finger, this number is easy. I am going to pass the card like this, and you touch one card. Okay? When you want. You touch one, okay, take it. Show to everybody the card, and watch yourself. Okay. I'm not watching. Okay? Everybody saw the card? Yeah. Yes? Okay, put it back to the top. This is the card, it's on the top, right? We are going to mix it. One and two times. Okay. The card is over there, right? In the middle, you see? No? no? It's over there, don't worry. One more time, you are going to find. Okay. I do this, you touch one card. Okay. Okay? When you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yeah? Yeah. Say one. Say one. The eight of clothes. I've just got back from dinner. How amazing is this? There's fresh aloe vera in the room, which I need because I definitely caught the sun on the paddleboard today. Like, fresh aloe vera. That is amazing. Now we go to bed. We take our makeup off first and then we go to sleep and then we do it all over again tomorrow. Good morning. Look how gorgeous the room looks this morning. This is the first time I've been in here when the sky has been blue it's insane it is so insane i can't wait by the way to go and explore the pool the very last day of this trip is reserved for hotel enjoyment but today i'm in my bananas in pajamas outfit because we are going to a banana plantation this morning i know that much and then we are doing so many things today it is a jam-packed itinerary once again so off we go how gorgeous is this? You go all the way through the bananas to the sea. This is genuinely one of the most unique banana plantations I've ever seen. And I'll tell you why. Look at this view. How stunning is that? So we're gonna try some balsa quillo cheese, okay? Which is amazing flavor. It's really strong, but it's authentic Canarian, uh, Gran Canarian cheese. As well, we are gonna try in this case on, on the right side, banana jam, right in the middle. You know the cactus fruit? Yeah. Uh -huh. The one with the flower? Uh -huh. With banana, yeah? Nice. And in the left, you're gonna try the banana with Canarian aloe vera, of delicious. Ooh, right. that jam was so good with the cheese. I'm gonna go into the shop and buy some. It was like banana and aloe vera. Amazing. I, I tried the a little, so I can't tell. This 
stuff. Quick change in the van, we're now at a rum distillery. I didn't think bananas in pajamas was appropriate all day. Guys, heat, heat. Alright, I've been given a hat which perfectly matches my outfit and now we drink rum. Look at this beach. This is called Las Cantaras. It's one of the super famous sandy beaches. So beautiful. We're not actually going to stop and swim uh, today. We are saving our beach day for the last day, but we just thought we'd come and show you guys what it's like because this is really pretty. You could easily spend the day here. And of course, you've got all of the shops and restaurants and things. So it's a proper day out. It looks so gorgeous. Actually, a little bit sad that we didn't bring beach stuff because this would have been a vibe, but for another visit for another time. Yeah, definitely recommend. And the final stop of the day is the old town in Las Palmas. It's very bright, very hot, uh, matching all of the bright, beautiful colors of Gran Canaria at this point. So we've got all these cute little like walkways. So the old town became too hot. We decided to come in and get cocktails instead. Deanna's actually gone for a very fancy schmancy cocktail. I went for a Japanese whiskey, however, because it's hard to come by. Oh my gosh, how cute! Oh my god, look at that! That's so cool! This place is called Eight Cans, by the way. Very, very cool cocktail list. Very extensive whiskey as well, which we're a big fan of. So we just had the most amazing dinner and now we're gonna go stargazing at the hotel. I'm so excited. They've got a telescope set up the works. I've never actually looked through a telescope. Whoop, can't even speak, that'll be the why. I've never looked through a telescope at the stars, so I'm super excited. What a setup. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so much fun! I'm gonna walk and talk and probably fall over, but we actually saw Saturn and like the rings around Saturn. It was amazing. So we saw three stars and Saturn, and it like it didn't look real, it looked like a simulation, even though obviously it was in the sky, but yeah, crazy amazing. That was such a freaking good night! Oh, I loved it. Right, chocolates on the pillow once again. Slippers laid out for turn down service. That was so cool, guys. As you oh, there's a little juice in here as well and like oh that's so cute like a little jelly with a little handwritten note um back to the stargazing that was so cool so we watched a video first of all with like silent disco style headphones on i don't know what i expected but i've never looked at stars through a telescope but it's just like these little twinkling diamonds but saturn we saw the rings like we fully saw the rings of saturn it was so cool before stargazing we went to the restaurant here which has a michelin star chef who's created the menu and it was really amazing so you can either have a veggie option a fish option or a meat option i obviously had the veggie option genuinely really really good day and yeah once again six hours sleep ahead of me if i'm lucky um but wouldn't change it for the world good morning Another glorious morning in Gran Canaria. Watch me just follow every move. Right, so we're in the north of the island this morning. It's a little bit breezier, but I'm still in shorts. We've come to one of the vineyards and look at the scenery. It's so beautiful. So we're in the north, we're about 550 meters high. I've never been to a vineyard that's surrounded by palm trees. I think that's so cool. This is the house. The grounds are super impressive. There's so many beautiful flowers. So this is something that you can do on a Saturday between 11 and one. You can pre-book online and come and do wine tasting, or you can actually book it as like a bigger group. If you wanted a private dining wine experience, you can book it that way. Oh my goodness. Look at the setup for our wine tasting. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you.
this is probably my favourite ever backdrop for wine tasting, including Dominica looking absolutely stunning in the background there. So we've had the first wine, very much my cup of tea, and now we're trying some olive oil. This I can say hands down is my favourite wine I've had so far here in the Canary Islands. Yeah, but you know what? Like it's the first time I've had a wine where the mm. aroma was so... Okay, so we drove further up to see a caldera view. I'm hoping that the clouds clear for you because it is insane with the naked eye, but I know on camera it's not gonna quite come across as beautiful as it is. But honestly, we could be like in the Grand Canyon or somewhere. It's so crazy. This is what shocked me so much about this island in general, I just feel like there's so much diverse landscape. Like one minute you're by the beach, the next minute you're in this amazing volcanic caldera, the next minute you've got all of the beautiful flora and fauna. It's just, it's beautiful, really amazing. But yeah, it's actually starting to rain. It's not only cloudy, it's raining right now. So I uh, don't know if I'm gonna get the best view for you. This is pretty epic. I do recommend if you're coming here. short little shopping trip in a town called Terror. This was kind of like halfway down. We're going to the sand dunes, um, but it's still about an hour away. So we decided to stop off, have a little ship shop. This would actually be a very cute place to come. It's kind of like medieval in a way. It's really cute, very different to the other towns that we've been to so far. And there's loads of little cobbled streets, shops, cafes, the works. So it was a really nice little stop off. Also the view is absolutely incredible. Look at that mountainous view. So yeah, a little different town, very cute. Oh my gosh, look at this, it's all white. Just follow every move. Touch me. Okay, so we're finally at the famous sand dunes. Now you're not actually allowed on the sand dunes themselves. There's a little walkway path that's roped off. However, you will see in some of my videos some sneaky illegal tourists walking along the sand dunes but you can get to the beach you just have to park up either side and you can drive there another way but i think the beach would be so amazing it's not on our itinerary but if i was coming back i'd definitely go to the beach because how cool would it be to have the sand dunes in the background but for now you can walk either side basically you've got this roped off section on this side and then you've got another promenade on that side but they are really freaking cool to see like so beautiful again another amazing <laughs> ridiculous landscape in the Canary Islands that you just don't expect to see here. Watch me Just follow every move Touch me Oh my goodness, that was too funny at the sand dunes. So basically we were trying to take pictures. As you know, I'm here with a group of travel bloggers. We were trying to take pictures and <laughs> Two of the girls had a particular shot in mind, so we didn't want to go past the rope because we abide by the rules. So we were lifting the rope up so that we didn't go past the rope. The reason being, by the way, I discovered the reason they have the rope there is because they've realised that it's just it's too much people traffic. It's obviously not good for the dunes and they want to protect the dunes, rightly so. So we were lifting the rope up. It was so funny and then we were hyping each other up i made a really funny tiktok i think anyway i'm gonna link the tiktok now never back down never what never give up never back down never what never give up let's go let's go it's so nice being away with other creators because rather than getting annoyed, like we just find it funny and it's just, it was really fun. But anyways, once again, got to do a quick little change because we've got dinner downstairs for sunset, which is in about half an hour. So I'm going to have a shower and glam up and whatnot. And um, yeah, that was so fun, but need to change. Managed to get ready at the speed of light. I've now nipped into Binny's room because we are like door to door. She's got the exact same layout. It's really cool actually, but like the other way around. And we're off down for dinner. We're gonna go to the restaurant, which is like on the beach tonight, which looks really nice. And fingers crossed we get some sort of sunset because I've not managed to film too much in the hotel, as you know, because we've not spent too much time here. So we're hoping that we get a really pretty sunset because it's a very gorgeous view. There's like an infinity pool down there. So let's go catch it. How funny that the first time we're going to the beach, we're going in the evening all glammed up, but it looks really pretty at sunset. The sunset's actually setting behind the hotel, but you get like the wispy purple colors behind. This is so pretty! Watch me Just follow every move Touch me
right, just before we go to dinner, I need to show you this cinema setup because you can get like popcorn, wine. It's so cute. So cute. And also they have headphones. So if you're watching a film that's not in your language, you can put the headphones on and then you can hear the film in your language. So cool. Let me show you the setup like closer up because it's really cute. Yeah. This is so dangerous. I've just come back to the room. We have daily treats, as you know. Today, it's like macaroons and brownies. And we've just been to Cafe Del Mar, which was really fun. But like, obviously I've had a few drinks. And now I'm gonna just completely jump down on this. Good morning. Feeling a little worse for wear this morning, not gonna lie to you. However, the only thing on the agenda is sunbathing and swimming in the sea so it's gonna be a-okay oh and we have this really fun paint class at 2 30 as well but yeah this is our last day this pool is amazing so i went down to the pool i actually ended up not only going for a swim but getting involved in the water aerobics which was so ridiculously fun this hotel's great can't say better things about it. Then we had some lunch and now I'm back in my airport outfit. It is time for us to leave. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and I will see you all again on my next one. Bye.